Ah, look. Bronwyn, 87. Excellent. Eliza, 78. Very promising. Jemima, 59. Getting there. Kirsty, 51. Improving. Molly... Thirty-eight per cent. Yes. And so she's put Molly bottom with a little comment, disappointing exclamation mark. How amusing, Bronwyn. Excellent. Molly disappointing. Besides, the actual figure was 38.66 per cent, so Molly has actually got 39 per cent, not 38 per cent. Well... Because you should round it up, not down. I mean, even I know that's basic mathematics. Yeah. That is a whole percentage point Molly's been robbed of there. Do you think I, I should do another letter to everyone, pointing that out, David? I think, I think you, should, you should... Hello? I think you should focus on the issue. Um, 38 per cent is not going to get Molly into Chelsea College. She'd never have got 38% if she'd had that echinacea. Can we talk about other options? My daughter's going to Chelsea College. That's what we want for her. That's the best school. It, yes, but not with 38%. She's going to get in. She's got to. Now, remember, Alice, yes. I know she failed the Chelsea College exam, mm. but we promised we would always support our children no matter what they do. Come on, it's us, darling. How's business? Great, thanks, Mum. I made friends with all the other prostitutes, mm -hmm. and I'd like you to meet Sergey, my pimp. Hi, Hi Sergey. Sergey's offered to look after all my finances for me and just pay me in low-grade heroin. Whatever you think best, dear. <laughs> Can't you just listen to the shipping forecast or something? I was thinking, maybe we should move to Lundy. Lundy? Mm. It's a little island in the middle of the Bristol Channel. I know where Lundy is. There's the lowest crime rate in Britain. Kids could go to the local school with the children of the nature warden and the lighthouse keeper and get loads of fresh air. Bird watching. You don't think you'd find new things to worry about on Lundy? Hmm? Wouldn't worry about the children getting dive bombed by killer puffins. Can puffins fly then? Yes, puffins can fly. Please go to sleep. There's a bear in my toy cupboard. There's a what? The bear in my toy cupboard. Hmm? <laughs> Alfie, the... the last bear in the British Isles was hunted to extinction in the 13th century, Alfie. So, and, and even, uh, even a small bear, like the Himalayan black bear, he needs a range of at least 20 square miles of woodland, so... No bear could ever live in your toy cupboard. David, right? you want comforting, not a natural history lesson. Hmm. Well, learn something while he's being comforted? Will you? Can I get him to bed with you, Mummy? No. Mum, get Mummy to bed. Oh, You're not going to get any sleep. <sighs> Did you have a nice time at nursery today, playing with Gwillem? I don't like him. You keep on saying he beat me at the race. What race? What's he talking about? A sports day I was invited to, just after we moved in. Oh, uh, that's hardly fair, is it? Alfie's uh, six months younger than Gwilym. Well, it doesn't matter who won. The point is, he ran it very well. I didn't run it. You won it for me. Of course I didn't do it for you. That would be... perfect. Expression. I think I preferred the popping. David, hmm? what if Molly didn't do the exam after all? Hmm? What if someone did it for her? It's a ridiculous idea. Come on, it could never work. Look at me, look. I'm short, flat-chested, and last year they charged me half price in the cinema. No one at Chelsea College knows what Molly looks like. Not the pot. 
doing the exam for her is totally wrong. It's morally repugnant. I couldn't live with myself, and I'm a corporate lawyer. Hey! What? Are you really being serious? All's fair in love, war, and secondary transfer. You're mad. I'm a parent! Oh, ridiculous. What would you tell Molly? Hmm? Well, she can sit a test paper at home. We'll make up some excuse as to why. That's the least of our problems. You just, you'll never get away with it. You said it was going to be okay. You promised me. It's no worse than pretending to be a Christian to get into a faith school. Yes, it is. All right, maybe a bit. But we have to do the best for our children. Haven't we always said that? I suppose we would still be paying the school a shed load of fees. Exactly, so it's not really fraud in that sense. It... Like, bad fraud. Molly would be an asset yes. to any school. Oh, a great asset. She's a very bright girl. Yeah, just doesn't do well in exams. Which is something mm -hmm. Chelsea College might be able to help her with if she were actually there. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. Remind me why that is again. Do we need a different bra to make your breasts look a little bit smaller? You know, like they're just sort of properly starting to bud? Unless you want to end up on some national register, I think you should let me handle this on my own. Yes. OK, I'll just, um, I'll see you at home. OK. No, no. Yep. When you don't want clothes with words all over the front of them, do you, darling? Hmm? It's not really cool to be walking out of that for gap, is it? I mean, they're not paying you, are they? Why don't you try that on? That's your favourite colour, isn't it? No, not that one. The one behind it. Now, you like that a lot, don't you, darling? Don't you? Hmm? Hmm? Hmm. Yes, you do. Good girl. Come on. Hello? Somebody in there? Excuse me. Don't you have priority changing rooms? I do have an American Express Platinum card, after all. I'm sure they won't be long. Il fait beau aujourd'hui, n'est-ce pas, Bronwyn? Oui, maman, il fait très beau. Hmm, qu'est-ce que c'est tout beau acheter en ce matin? What? Don't say what, darling. Say come on. We're speaking French, aren't we? You're not. I'm not now, because you started speaking English. Il fait beau aujourd'hui. Mm -hmm. No, I've just said that to you. You try harder, darling. Oh, Fiona, the way you push your children, it's so inspiring. On doit faire la plus meilleure pour les enfants, n'est-ce pas? Oh, oui. Ooh la la. Oh, come along in there. Oh. Oh. Fiona, you don't... you don't mind about the job, then? Of course not, Sarah. I'm absolutely delighted for you and Kirsty. Oh. And Bronwyn will get in anyway. Oh, yeah. <laughs> to be honest, it's Molly I worry about. I mean, Alice is such a sweet thing, but 